Brett, this nigga be amazing when can fly like this. I mean, just the amount of possibilities that open up here. It's, I mean, it's pretty cool. Years of hard engineering work has gotten us here. Uh, we have, you know, certification and manufacturing as we're gearing up. And i um, really excited to think about making this an everyday use case for, for everybody in the world. Archer came out of stealth in the spring of 2020 after having recruited key talent from WISC. Archer also hired engineers away from Airbus Vahana project. According to sources, Archer was able to lure these engineers by offering higher salaries. WISC claims that Archer's emergence surprised the industry. Archer's stated timeline for releasing an aircraft was a fraction of the time taken by its serious competitors, using a fraction of the number of employees of more established urban air mobility firms. WISC sued Archer Aviation for allegedly stealing its trade secrets and infringing on its patents. WISC is seeking an injunction against Archer to prevent it from using the allegedly stolen technology. In response, Archer says it has. No reason to believe that it possesses any of Whisk's intellectual property. In this video, I will go over everything we know about the legal battle between eVTOL developers, Whisk and Archer, and I will analyze both sides of the argument. On April 6, 2021, Whisk filed a lawsuit against Archer Aviation. The lawsuit alleges that Archer's business is built on intellectual property that is not its own and brings claims for trade secret misappropriation and patent infringement. As stated in the complaint, WISC brings this lawsuit to stop a brazen theft of its intellectual property and confidential information and protect the substantial investment of resources and years of hard work and effort of its employees and their vision of the future in urban air transportation. They claim that Archer Aviation a new entrant in the eVTOL market is seeking to gain a foothold in this industry without respecting the rules of fair competition. Archer has been using WISC's proprietary intellectual property without our permission. Among other things, we discovered the misappropriation of thousands of highly confidential files containing very valuable trade secrets, as well as the use of significant innovations WISC has patented. Archer has made a series of recent pronouncements about its technology and business that surprised the industry, including that it would soon release its own eVTOL aircraft. Just a year ago, Archer appeared to have little or no meaningful operations, let alone the years of research, development, and testing required to fly even a prototype of an eVTOL aircraft. Whisk states, We believe it is virtually impossible for Archer to have produced an originally designed aircraft in this timeframe that has gone through the necessary testing and is ready for certification with the FAA. The design that Archer released for its eVTOL aircraft was particularly surprising. As detailed in our complaint, it appears to copy the same design that WISC developed and submitted in a confidential patent application to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office in January 2020. The cockpit design includes six front rotors that each consist of five blades and can tilt to be positioned either horizontally or vertically, as well as six rear rotors that each consist of two blades and remain fixed in a vertical position. The design also includes an unconventional V-tail. The striking similarity in these designs could not have been a coincidence. WISC says that the design of the aircraft submitted in the patent application is not a result of common knowledge among the industry or a basic eVTOL aircraft design. They stated that this is a completely new type of aircraft and other companies in the space have come up with their own distinct designs based on their own unique innovation process and then proceeds to show the photo montage that you are seeing right now. I partly disagree with WISC here. The first image is a multicopter which is clearly going to be a very different design. And the second and sixth images are renders that are not even close to being a prototype. For the rest of the images, I think it is a fair argument. The month that WISC filed its patent application was the same month that Archer hired away 10 of WISC's engineers, concerned about this targeted recruiting. WISC hired a forensic investigator who returned with some troubling information. We discovered that one of those engineers downloaded thousands of WISC files near midnight, 
shortly before he announced his resignation and immediately departed to Archer. Those files contain our valuable trade secrets and confidential information about Whisk's aircraft development spanning the history of the company, accumulated over countless hours of incremental progress by scores of engineers. Another engineer downloaded numerous files containing test data just before departing for Archer. Yet another wiped any trace of his computer activity shortly before leaving for Archer. The stolen files include a multitude of WISC trade secrets for aircraft designs, component designs, system designs, manufacturing, and test data. They include voluminous confidential presentations reporting on the development, simulation and testing of WISC aircraft, as well as highly technical confidential documents focused on research, design, development, testing and fabrication of specific systems which compile years of effort by engineers to develop WISC's proprietary technology. As our complaint explains, the design Archer disclosed reflects its insider knowledge of WISC's extensive aerodynamic test and evaluation data, based on years of experimentation and modeling. The similarity in overall aircraft design further indicates Archer's use of more detailed design features, including features related to aircraft propulsion, power management, avionics, flight control, and manufacturing methodology. Archer claimed in court filings that the maker design was conceived by an independent firm, Flight House Engineering, in late 2019, before any WISC employees joined Archer. Now, Archer contends that its founders, Brett and Adam, revealed key details of that concept to WISC senior engineer Jeffrey Long during a recruiting attempt on December 9th of 2019. Specifically, they told Jeffrey that they were planning to use a 12-rotor fixed-wing aircraft with two or six tilting rotors. Archer states, On December 2019, Archer's founders told WISC's chief engineer about the aircraft designs Archer was developing, including tilted rotors on a fixed wing. WISC's engineer reported Archer's plans to WISC's CEO and CTO. Days later, WISC quickly filed an application that included the very designs Archer had disclosed to WISC. WISC mentions none of these admitted facts that conclusively disprove WISC's claim of copying, and show that if there is a copycat design here, it is not Archer's aircraft. Yet, WISC uses the application it created after Archer's disclosure and including Archer's design as a litigation and media prop to falsely accuse Archer of theft. What is surprising to me here is that Archer revealed the design of its aircraft to the chief engineer of the competition during a recruiting attempt. I don't know why you would do that, considering all the risks involved with it. Maybe it is a common practice in the industry that I am not aware of. WISC provides no evidence whatsoever, not a single document, not a single witness, nothing, that Archer received or used any WISC trade secret. Archer independently developed its aircraft, working with leading eVTOL consultants and a world-class team of engineers. Archer did not need, did not have, and did not use, anything from WISC, and there is not one iota of evidence to the contrary. Instead, WISC's motion is suffused from top to bottom with misdirection and misrepresentations that preclude the equitable relief it seeks. What is equally clear and more troubling is that WISC is not satisfied with maligning Archer alone. WISC's filing, with its broadside attack on talented engineers who once worked for WISC or one of its predecessors, is an unmistakably threatening message to its own employees. If you leave WISC you can't work in aerospace because WISC owns your experiences and knowledge. At a time when our president is taking aim at just these kinds of anti-competitive tactics by big business, we find this deeply disturbing. We at Archer, like the Biden administration and the laws of the state of California, favor employee mobility. We have worked hard to create a culture and company policies that respect that premise, while simultaneously ensuring the protection of former employers' intellectual property rights. I make technology and market analysis on the new and exciting eVTOL revolution. See you in the next video.